Hi there, I think now you start to enjoy the Power BI and uh, let us jump to the next requirement, which is analyzing the sales by the uh, sales representative. Uh, so remember, first of all, we try to correct the errors in the Excel file, then we start to make the analysis by region. And I hope you remember that we found that the region that has the high sales is the Northeast and the lowest sales was the uh, New England. And also when we jump to the states, we found the same conclusion. But when we come to make the analysis by the salesperson, we see a slightly different scenario that can shed light on the sales of those regions and our recommendation as data analyst. So what I did, and now I, I think you know how to do it, so I'm not gonna do it from scratch as I did in my previous videos. I need to make a table that this table has sales person, so we grab it from here, and then some of the sales, which we grab it from here, and then we add the region. So in the previous requirements, I used to make a table of two columns, but now we can make a table of three columns. And this will help us to get a better insight about the sales. And then once I finish this one, you need to go here to the format. So you go here, sorry. So once you stand here on the table, you go to the format and you start switching between general and visual to format the table like this. What I need is to format the title, make it bright and the background is black, make the total here with two lines and bold and big. And then I need to make a chart or a graph. How do we make this graph? we need to go for this one, the clustered bar a chart. And here you will see that I put all the salespersons with all their sales amount. I change it here, the title to sales and here salesperson. And here I made the chart title sales by salesperson. And you can tell that Peter made the highest sales and this is what I put here. The salesperson who made the highest sales is Peter, for sure. And then the one who made the lowest sales is Chrissy. And Chrissy comes from New England. So the West, uh, sorry, uh, Chrissy made the lowest sales, 2.377 million. And she's from uh, New England. But now we find that Peter is not located in the Northeast. And if you look at the table, Peter and Kelly, who made the highest sales, are located in the West. But Mario and Nicole, who also made highest sales, are located in North Central. So although North East is making the highest sales among all the regions, not because the salespeople are the best, but the, the number of the salespeople are the maximum. So North East here has three salespeople. So I said here, this conclusion presents a new finding that the best salespersons are not located in the Northeast, but in the West, as you can see two of them in the West and two of them in the North Central. So what this what makes actually uh, the Northeast stand out, not the quality of the salesperson, but the number of the salesperson. So what is my recommendation? My recommendation is to add a new salesperson, to add a new salesperson to the West and to the North Central. So the number of the salespeople in the West and the North Central will be three instead of two, and this will boost up the sales on those two regions. So instead of having one region, Northeast is the best, I can have three regions, Northeast, Central, North Central, and West. And this will ultimately boost up the sales for the whole company. And this would be the third requirement. I think now you can do all of it by yourself. And I will come back to the following video to explain the remaining two requirements in this project. I hope you find this short video useful. And I'll come back to you soon. Thank you. Bye.